The Brownsville Independent School District is considering closing down schools in the district. Channel 5's Monica de Anda went looking for answers to find out why the move is needed now. Carla Lemus has three children enrolled at Victoria Heights Elementary School. Her three older children graduated from this school as well. Brownsville Independent School District is in the preliminary stages of making a big decision about closing Victoria Heights, Longoria, and Resaca Elementary. Jimmy Haynes, Assistant Superintendent for Operations at Brownsville ISD, tells us why these schools are being looked at for possible closure. The student-teacher ratio is low. You basically, we're down in, uh, we have about 300 students at a campus or less, and so those are the schools that we're looking at that uh, we need to uh, either, uh, you know, close, repurpose, or even demolish and, and rebuild. Haynes adds, in order to keep a school financially secured, you need anywhere around 600 to 800 students. These elementary schools only have around 300 each. Other factors include the age of the school, maintenance costs, funding, and a decrease in population. Lemus is worried about the transition her children would face. Sería un poco difícil volver a, a acomodarlos en otra escuela, volver a que ellos se vuelvan a empezar en otro ambiente. Mr. Haynes says the teachers would remain with their students if this does happen. He met with the principals of the schools that would be affected earlier today. The district plans to meet with teachers, parents, and other members of the community in the coming month. As for now, there isn't a clear timetable as to when a decision would be made. Preferably, it, it, uh, it would be at the end of the year, mm -hmm. uh, before a, a new academic year, but it could happen any, at any time. Mr. Haynes tells us the decision could come as soon as next month, but could take up to six months. The school district has a facilities committee meeting this month. A conclusion could be made then. Monica DeAnda, Channel 5 News at 6, Brownsville.